Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have a matrix space XD. We have F is a subset of X. The given information is F contains all its limit points. And what we have to prove, we have to prove that X minus F, that means complement of F is open. Okay. So let us start with the given information. I have written here most of the things. F contains all its limit points. So that is symbolically we can write in this way, F dash subset of F. Okay. So what is meaning of F dash? We, are, we can also call it as a derived set. That means set of all limit points of F. Getting. So F contains all its limit points. So that's why obviously set of all limit points of F is subset of F. This is a given information. What we have to prove, let me write. To prove that X minus F is open. Okay. So will you tell me what is the technique to prove any set is open? We take any arbitrary point. We try to find a ball around that point, which is a subset of that set. Then we declare the set is open. Same thing I will do here. I am taking any arbitrary point X of this X minus F. That means complement of F. Let me write. So let X belongs to X minus F. This is any arbitrary point. Let me mention B any arbitrary point. Okay. Arbitrary point. So X does not belong, sorry, X belongs to X minus F. That means X does not belong to F. X lies in complement of F. Therefore, X is not in F. So let me mention X does not belong to F. But see, F bar, F dash is subset of F. That means if X is not in its superset, then it cannot be in subset. So X does not belong to F. Therefore, it is not in F dash also. So let me mention. So therefore implies X does not belong to F dash. So reason is F dash subset of F. Getting it is not in F, which is a larger than F dash. So it is not in F, then it cannot be in F dash also, right? So X does not belong to F dash, but what is meaning of F dash? F dash is a set of all limits points of it and X is not in F dash. So therefore X is not a limit point of F. Let me mention. So implies X is not a limit point of F, right? So let me continue here. So you are familiar with the definition of limit point. Okay, De definition of limit point is BXR minus singleton X intersection F is not equal to phi. This is true for every R greater than zero. But what we have right now, it is not a limit point. That means exactly opposite definition we have to write. So let me write here. So therefore, there exist what we write for all R greater than zero. Now, so instead of that, I should write there exist R greater than zero such that it's not a limit point. So we should write in this way, BXR minus singleton X intersection F getting in definition of limit point, we write not equal to phi, but here we suppose to write is equal to phi getting. So that means what, what it means there exists an open ball around X. Okay. Such that minus singleton X intersection F the intersection with set, set F is empty set intersection is phi getting so intersection with f is phi that means this open ball is subset of its complement so it means b x r minus singleton x subset of x minus f since intersection with f is phi so it should be in its complement getting so in this diagram also you can see if intersection of this ball with f is empty set then it should be in its complement but what we are do doing we are subtracting singleton x that means we are removing center of that ball but did you notice that center of ball x center of ball x which is also member of x minus f see but x belongs to x minus f that means the thing which we are removing that is also member of x minus f so no need to remove getting if you include it then also it is subset of x minus f so therefore you can say BXR is subset of X minus F. No need to remove since that what we are removing that is also member of X minus F. So actually we started with any arbitrary point X belongs to X minus F and we found a ball around X which is a subset of X minus F. So this is definition of open set. So therefore what can we say therefore X minus F is open getting since we took any arbitrary point and we could find a ball around it 
which is subset of that set. So therefore x minus f is open and this thing we had to prove right x minus f is open. So in this way we completed this proof. Make a screenshot of it then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.